Okay, this is my loader up. It's staying still. Still staying still. Tilt it a little. Left to right. Stays where it's at. As soon as I lower it a little bit. Drifting down. I lower a little bit more. My hand is off. It drifts. Then it stops. But when I get lower, my hand is off. It drifts down. stop and I'll sit there all day long but as soon as I give it a little bit of down pressure it starts drifting by itself no hand is on the joystick and my hands off the joystick drifting down Good evening guys. After work tonight, I came back to the 1025R. Last night I posted a video of uh, issue I was having with the bucket. It had a random, no matter where you put it, sometimes it would drop about a foot. Sometimes it put it up way high and it would stay. Certain positions would stay. It was just all over the board. It would drift a little bit and then it would drift a foot and it was just really inconvenient. So I posted on the forum, um, had a lot of input. I guess I left out the stuff I already did check. So. I got random information. I uh, appreciate everybody that answered, but I thought I'm going to make an iron on the fly video. So I've got the single point and the third function. I added all that, but I added all that while that was an issue. Um, and then I rechanged the hydraulic fluid since I added all the upgrades and the summit kit and everything. I decided I was going to do a hydraulic filter change because it's at 100 hours and I lost fluid doing all these add ons. So I did that. And then I still had the issue. So then I came and I checked the pressure on the SCV and it's sitting about 2150, 2200. That was good. Uh, there is no adjustment on the SCV. The only thing I could see for an adjustment in the service manual was the, the valve on the bottom, a little cleaning, but it's clean. Nothing's binding. Um, that all looked good. So last night I went up and got some fittings from John Deere, uh, ordered those today, got them in today. They're actually not from John Deere, John Deere orders them in. I got fittings that fit on the end of the hoses for the cylinders, two of them. And I came home tonight and disconnected the hoses from the cylinders on one side, plugged them with that plug, raised and lowered it, and it drooped. Did the same thing on this side here. So then I put it back together and then bled the system up and down a bunch of times still doing it and then i switched the plugs to this side and raised it up and it it held uh the problem was this ram has either an internal leak 
so I'm gonna take it apart maybe put a seal kit in we'll see what happens otherwise I'll replace the cylinder I'll check it out first uh, seal kit looks to be about 85 bucks at John Deere plus tax so just want to let you guys know that the test fittings are really simple just two nuts that mimic the cylinders I'm not a high hydraulic genius by any means but I appreciated all the input and uh, just broke it down to troubleshooting these cylinders I had a feeling it was like that and John Deere did tell me that if you have a load in your bucket and you hit a little dip and you don't have the ballast and it jolts it those usually take it out um, I don't think that's what happened it just failed but anyway that's how you solve it two test nuts in your toolbox and you can check those pretty quick by disconnecting and running it up and down thanks everybody for the help again uh, i just thought i'd post this case somebody else runs into that same issue and is scratching their head and that'll solve the problem thanks